Namaste and welcome in. If you're not in the best mood and you need to change your energy and your overall emotions for the day, hop on your yoga mat and join me. I hope this changes your mood for the better. You'll find yourself standing on your mat, feet about hip width distance apart with a slight bend in your knees and let your arms go down long. Usually when we're in a bad mood, we may be seated or clenching our fists and our jaw. So let's immediately release. Inhale, sweep your arms out, then up, look up. Exhale, arms out, then down, fold forward. Inhale, arms go out, then up, look up. Exhale, arms out, then down. One more time. Inhale, arms out, then up, look up. Exhale, arms out, then down. Good. While you're down here in this nice forward fold, start swaying your upper body side to side. Shake your head yes, nod your head no. Keep doing this, swaying side to side, and you'll stay down. Keep doing this. What you're doing is releasing out that frustration, that anger, that pent up emotion that you may be feeling in your body. When we fold forward, we decompress the, sp the spine, excuse me, elongate the backs of the legs as well as our back, and we're able to let it out. Sometimes those emotions get stuck in our body, make us hunch over and clench. We want to release. Good. Shake your head yes. Bend the knees, just waving, kind of like a rag doll. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. But slowly bring your hands back to the mat, bend your knees, inhale, lift your arms out and up, look up. Exhale, release those arms down, good. Right ear touches your right shoulder, not quite, but it reaches down. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed down your back. Drop your head back, chin goes high. Left ear touches the left shoulder, not quite, but it's reaching down. And then tuck your chin in towards your chest. Good, keep with that here, neck circles. Again, as you keep moving, you'll notice whenever you have anger in your body or just not in the mood you'll feel it in the upper body most people do not everyone but in the neck and shoulders and so as you do these neck circles reverse the circle move in the opposite way hopefully we're releasing tension and releasing that emotion from the body that mind and body connection that we bring together in yoga makes for a beautiful practice here really nice Excellent, good, nice. Release the head straight ahead, clasp at your lower back. Inhale, bring those clasp hands down, look up and squeeze, good. Squeeze your glutes so that you're protecting the low back. Squeeze here so the shoulder blades are squeezing together, the palms of the hands are squeezing together. And again, even the butt, the glutes are squeezing as you inhale and exhale. One more big inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward, bring those clasp hands high. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. And again here, shake your head yes and no. Release that frustration out of the body. Keep folding forward, keep lifting those arms high. Nice big inhale and nice big exhale. Good. Bring the clasp hands to the low back and then release the hands down to the mat. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms out, then up, look up. Exhale, bring the arms down by your side. Good. Inhale, reach that right arm up and then over to the left side. So you see there's some separation between my feet. It depends on you. Some people actually think they get a deeper stretch with their feet touching, legs close together. I like to find a little separation so I can really bend over. And then pull your lower belly in so you're really 
arching, getting that stretch in the side of the body. Good. Inhale, bring both arms high, look up. Exhale, left arm forward. Or excuse me, left arm to the side. Good. Release that tension from the body. Beautiful. Nice. Inhale, reach those arms high. Exhale, arms out, then down, fold forward, grab opposite elbows, tuck your chin in towards your chest. Good. And whether stay folded down, whether you are in a bad mood because of an external circumstance, a person, maybe your own self, a life situation, know that what you can control is your reactions, what you can control is your emotions. What you can control is what thought you will allow to stick around and to stay with you. We may not be able to control other people, external circumstances, life, the randomness that is life and life events, but you can control yourself. Stay folded here. With moving your body, you realize that if you focus on your breathing and focus on lengthening out your body, your muscles, your breath, you can do wonders for your emotions. Good. Inhale, stand up. Sweep the arms out, then up. Drop the head back. Hands at your heart center. Good. And like a tree, we can be rooted firmly, even though those things in life Try to sway us this way or that way. So let's do tree pose. Stand here, bring your right ankle to your left calf. You can stay here, hands at your heart center, that's tree pose. Or you can work your um, right foot onto your left calf, or you bring it above the knee. So never to the knee, you can bring it above. And you can see I'm kind of shaking, that's okay. If you fall out of it, completely fine. Come back to it. I always like to get back and just place it right in the center of that left thigh, hands at your heart center. Like a tree, you can stand firm, stand planted, even when, again, life wants to sway you, other people want to sway you. You can stand firm. Take an inhale. And an exhale, release. Good. Shake it out if you need to. You are strong even if you did fall out of it. No problem. This is a practice, not a performance. You have a practice. Bring your left foot up. Left um, ankle goes into your right calf. You can stay right here. Maybe this is where you're at for today. That's perfectly fine. Or you can use your hands to help and bring that left foot to the right thigh. Hands at your heart center. Again, your mood is in your control, even though sometimes it feels like it's out of your control, out of our control, it is in your control. Bring a smile to your face. Good. You can see I'm kind of swaying, that's completely fine. Take an inhale, and take an exhale, good release. Shake it out here, shake everything out. Shake, 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 shake it out. Really shake out the wrists and the ankles. We want to move that pent up emotion, that frustration. Good. And then come to stillness, arms down, palms face forward, close your eyes. Relax your shoulders, relax the body. Breathe a three second inhale, three second exhale. Close your eyes. Three second inhale. Three second exhale. Keep your eyes closed, focusing on your breath. And I heard a quote recently, I read a quote, excuse me, that said, real lasting change usually begins with discomfort and ends with joy and respect for oneself. So notice if the reason that that pent up emotion or the mood within, is it because change needs to take place or because life is making change take place? Whatever it is, if there's an element of resistance, just let it be. 
and we can't control the external factors, we can't control other people, but we can control ourselves, that light within us, the peace within us, and we get to stoke that fire of peace. Either we can let it die out or we can keep adding logs to the fire so that it blazes and that our whole being blazes with peace and calm. Bring your hands at heart center and that light that we were talking about, the light within me, bows and honors the light within you. You have it within you. And as we bow our heads below our hearts, we say to each other, Namaste. Thank you again for joining yoga practice today. I hope this shifted your mood in a positive way. I hope this provided you with peace and maybe a new sort of perspective. I hope to see you in class next time and in my next video. Thank you again.